it is warm but it's not as crazy warm as it was I got a headache we're headed to Walmart to buy cat y'all two times we clay and I have run to Walmart it was like 8 36 one night and uh, they closed at 8 30 and we were like wait what y'all closed at 8 30 because our Walmart never closes and then was it last night mm -hmm. last night I have, I've got a cake this week so I ran to get supplies and it's kind of an act of Congress because I've got to get Dan to mess with Callie like go take her out to play and feed the chickens or whatever to get her to I mean like, she just goes crazy when I'm gonna leave I'm trying to get away from her a little bit more just so that because she goes like she really goes nuts when I leave her because I never leave her so we went last night it was literally like 8 39 when we drove in the uh, parking lot and it was like, oh my gosh, Clay, we're not used to them closing at 8.30 at night. I asked them, I said, why do y'all close at 8.30? And, and the person looked at me like I was crazy and they were like, Corona? And I was like, no, 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 I get it. But like, I can understand like 10 or midnight, but 8.30, that, that just seems so weird. Like such a weird time to close, don't it, Clay? Mm -hmm y'all i put up my uh this is us 40 years later video yesterday y'all have all been so sweet uh, y'all like me and dan like i've been reading the comments to dan and uh everybody has been so sweet uh, about it so thank y'all so much that um uh, like I, that didn't even pop into my head until like a couple of days before like our anniversary and uh so like i wish i had, had like not not that i didn't have more time i obviously had you know 40 years but um like from the time i thought about it until the time i started working on it i only had about 24 hours to come up with it so like i had to go hunt all those pictures down to me editing is hard so the editing part was hard and I can like I can watch and go oh my god oh my god oh my god like I can see the flaws and all that so but um anyway yeah y'all been really sweet and I really appreciate it it was it was it was a fun video to do it's a little bit emotional not bad but it was a fun video to do Dan and Clay Man have been working 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 I've got a cake this week I'm actually gonna go and stay at this party um, a friend of mine's little girl's turning eight and I've literally made every one of her cakes like I made her like little smash cake from when she was you know a baby uh, all the way up until now she's turning eight and uh, she sent me uh, a picture she drew a picture of her cake and y'all I'll, I'll, I'll ask her mom if she cares if I put it in here I don't want to just like put people on I mean I know like you won't know who she is but I don't want you know what I mean I just feel I, I want to ask her mama first so I'll ask her mama if she cares but I'll show y'all a picture of the picture she drew me that, that for the that she wanted for her cake I, I was gonna say what it says but I don't want to I want y'all to see it and then we'll talk about y'all so sweet so sweet So, and it's going to be uh, like an art party. They're having, uh, I believe her art teacher is coming and she's going to do like some art with them or whatever. And she asked, oh my goodness, we, everybody and their brother's going to Walmart today. But she asked if uh, I would come and stay at her party. So I'm going to go stay. Usually I, I've like either got Dan and Clay or something with me or somebody with me or whatever so I haven't been able to stay but this year I don't have I can I can do and, and that's another thing I'm gonna have to leave Callie so I've been trying to leave her a little bit so she won't lose her mind when I leave her Saturday for a few hours to go out and uh, celebrate Fallon's birthday party with her her mama calls her Peep and uh, but her name is Fallon so yeah I'm gonna go out and celebrate with Miss Pete. Y'all, I'm not doing good on this. Like, I start the diet, do real good, and boom, I fall off. Start the diet, do real good, boom, fall off. What is my problem? Why can't I get on it and stay? 
I hope, I hope my dang glasses be there now. Oh, Lord, y'all. We having hell with them glasses, ain't we, Clay? I know. They said, oh, it take two weeks. And it be turned out three weeks later. It's like, what It's been mean? a month. It's been about a month since we ordered those glasses. Anyway, um, it's been about a month since we ordered these glasses. Uh, when I caught them, like, they said they'd be here, like, on the, I don't know, I think I talked about this in another video, so I hate to sound like a broken record. But um, they said it would be that date or before. Well, that date has come and gone by a couple, two, three weeks. So um, I called them. They said, well, here's the deal. The lab that we're using now couldn't do his glasses because, you know, he needs a really, one of them is a really thick one. And so we had to, you know, find another lab. And that lab didn't let us know. Anyway, and I'm just like, why would you not let me know when they weren't going to come in on like because y'all said it'd be like it'd be before on that date or before so when that date came and went you look it, you'd think they'd call me but they didn't so I called them and that was the story I got that time the story I got the next time I don't remember anyway I called again I think yesterday and she was like, well, yeah, and um, you know, blah, blah, blah. They couldn't cut them. Had to find somebody. Blah, blah, blah. I said, I get that. But it was already supposed to have been here like a week ago. And, and we're still looking at it's going to be, anyway, a week and a half to be exact. Because I, like, fibbed and, and told a later date so that Clay wouldn't stress out about it. So anyway, she said, yeah, they'll be here. Like, it, it, it'll be here today. The lens will be here today. And then we're going to cut it. And I'm like, but wait a minute. You said you had to send, that's, that's the whole thing. You had to send out to another lab because, you know, one lab couldn't cut it. And so another one's going to cut it. And now they, they're sending it to y'all. And y'all are going to cut it? I don't know. But we better get them dang glasses in the next day or so. I don't know. I probably could have called them today. But I said, no, nah, I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Give them, you know enough time to get these glass look man said he ain't waiting for all this talking he's going in walmart i'll talk to y'all when we get out of walmart come on Ooh. sir you going my way yep <laughs> got the buggy put back i put the dog person back see because they like i saw fit. that yeah they got trunk full are y'all buggy putter backers no. Wait, wait, am I a buddy, buggy putter backer? No. I'm not a buggy putter backer? Well, I don't know. I'm not. Do I put the buggy back in the holder? Oh, I don't know. I guess. I, I know your daddy don't. I and don't. you don't. I'm that person that puts it back in the holder. Oh. Well, I never can say I have seen you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Clay's usually the bugger put, buggy putter upper. Um, I don't have to do it. Thank goodness. Thank you, Clay. Mm -hmm. So he don't really ever see me put the buggy up, but I'm a rule follower. I put it back in the little holder. I don't. I just put where it's at. And, but some of them guys get it. Anyway, what did you think about Walmart today? Was it busy? It was not. No. It was nice, wasn't it, y'all? It's Wednesday. Isn't it Wednesday? Yeah. And I'm assuming since Texas is opening back up, like they're like opening back up a lot, um, I'm assuming they, uh, like, like tonight is church. Time. Tonight's like the first time they've had church in a million years. So like nobody was in Walmart. Clay said it like several times. This is so nice, mom. And it was y'all. It wasn't crowded. People weren't like scurrying right you know all over everybody you know it was really nice it was. very nice but was it hot in there man it was y'all what is with walmart i know walmart don't watch my videos nobody like related with or like affiliated with walmart or whatever cut some air on y'all we in texas it's 952 billion degrees with 5,000 humidity cut some air on i realize headquarters is in bentonville i get it if i've heard that like when I say Walmart needs to cut some air on, if I have heard Bittenville runs it, no shit. The whole world knows that. <laughs> I get it. I know Bittenville runs everybody's air. Uh, they're not stu too stupid to know where their Walmarts are at. Like if you're in Alaska, they run some heat. They don't run no air. In Texas, 
cut it, and I know they, what they do is they just set it at one temperature, which is probably 78, and that's just across the board. Everybody gets 78. I get it. Uh, it's hot in Texas, and I know it doesn't make any difference. I'm sitting here griping about it. It does not make a difference because I can moan and groan and be ticked off that it's hot and we're sweating in Walmart because they ain't going to cut no air on, and they don't care because I'm still going to come give them my money next week. I'm like, you know, I hate going, I'm like, if I'm going to spend every dime I get in Walmart, you could at least make it a pleasant experience and it'd be cool in there when I'm trying to shop, you know, 80 degrees in a store when it's 180 outside with 900 humidity, that's not pleasant, you know, it, it's just not comfortable, but anyway, rant over <laughs> for the moment, I'll start another one in a minute. <laughs> Feeling good? You feeling good? Yeah. Feeling good. We're getting antsy though, y'all. We want to take a trip somewhere. We're ready for things to open back up so we can do something. But I just read that, um, I'm going to turn a little bit of air on, Clay. We ain't got it cool enough in here. Um, oh, that there's kind of a, 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 not a second wave, but for I think the third day in a row, Texas's numbers has been on the increase of COVID uh, patients. So it's still it's still scary. And it said it's in northern Texas, which is what we are. Excuse me. So well, we're East Texas, but you know what I mean. Like we're northern anyway. Texas being north of Um. Anyway, it, we still got to be careful, and I'm I'm still you know scared of it. But, um, anyway, my brother has been having some health issues, so we're really, you know, sending him all of our mojo to help him get well. <laughs> Anthony, you gotta get well. I know you're not watching this, but in case you do, I'm sending you, I'm sending you some mojo, Clay sending you some mojo, Dan sending you some mojo. Uh, Thelma and Louise will send you a little bit. Callie will send you a little bit. And Little Cat, we all send you some mojo. And together, we're going to get well. That's right. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Y'all, it's hard not to be fat. We've got Little Caesars, Dairy Queen, Whataburger, Sonic, uh, all of that. Literal, I could throw a rot and hit my house from here. <laughs> it's hard to, to be skinny or healthy or whatever when you've got fast food in your backyard but i've got to get back at it y'all I, I like i said I, i'm i'm my 42 chins are on the way back they they're going strong and uh I, I, you know, these pants a little bit tight on my belly <laughs> uh, i i gotta do better i got it i'm not, not i can't even say i gotta do better i gotta do something because i haven't been doing nothing well that's alive and eating like a wild woman that's what I've been doing. Gotta do better. Gotta do better. I don't know why it's so hard, y'all. Because, you know, like, when I eat better, I feel better. Mm -hmm. So, why do I not do it? Why do I go, no, 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 no. Let me see how bad I can eat. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's get our mess in the house. I gotta start some cakes. Make some decorations and all that good stuff. Miss Callie's gonna be happy to see us, huh? Mm -hmm. You know, I said I was leaving Callie. Uh, just now for a few minutes uh, just you know to run to Walmart y'all when I got back like I had given her a little piece of a chicken strip she loves to just carry something around eat like a cheese stick a piece of a chicken strip we buy her some little treats she'll carry those around like all day and then at night she'll end up eating it but she carries it around all day like it's a toy but that toy Kim gave her the hedgehog I think it is when I got in just now she had her little hedgehog and her chicken strip. See, dear Miss Callie Bug, she got that chicken strip. But yeah, she had her baby and her chicken strip laying at the front door waiting on me to come home. Y'all, that just kills me. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. Okay, y'all, I've been caking all day. Yeah, that started out on the top of my head this morning. And now you see where it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I could be that woman that gets up and gets dressed and does her makeup and my hair and all that kind of stuff and looks cute all day. But if I'm going to cake or work on my house or anything like that where I know I'm going to get dirty, I don't even bother. And I would show y'all, but y'all, this whole 
well, I have a shirt on. The whole side of my shirt is tore out. Yeah, I put it. I forgot I put a tank top on under it so you couldn't see all my rolls. But yeah, I look like a hobo. That's what I look like. But we, I've been caking all day. We are going to do our first uh, interactive party, if that's what you're going to call it. We're doing a birthday party. But it is an art party. And the little girls, I'm going to take cakes. Like, they're, they're going to just be iced. And I'm going to take, I've ordered uh, disposable piping bags. I've got little boxes and boards to put them on. Uh, one for each little girl, and her cake is going to go in here. And then, hold on, let me turn this camera. Hold on, let me turn this camera around so I can show you. And then I have packaged up them. Each little girl gets a little cup of sprinkles, and then she gets a little ball of each of the colors of fondant and we're gonna decorate cakes with the kids do you know what I mean like I'm gonna fix them up uh, each there's five girls each of them are gonna get three colors of icing already in a bag and then you know it'll, it'll I'll take it out there in this little box it's got the little holder on top I can't get it. And then after they decorate it, they'll be able to take their cake home in their cute little box. Won't that be cute, y'all? And uh, such a fun little birthday party because they get to take, like, instead of, like, taking a party favor or one of those, you know, favor bags or whatever, they get to take their own little cake home with them. And then, of course, I'm doing a big cake, you know, like, for the party or whatever. But anyway, that's what I've been doing all day. Okay, guys, it is Friday morning. I have got to get everything iced one more time. This is the big cake. And these are all of the little cakes for the little girls. They are going to get iced one more time. This one's going to get iced one more time. And then it's going to get covered in fondant and decorated. So that's where I stand on this Friday morning. Um, yeah, I'm ready to be done. So, I've... Uh, redone my hair this oop, there, sun sunshine calm down i've redone my 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 bouffant today at least i've done that and um uh, yeah i've got to be a mad caker all day long to get this finished because the party is tomorrow and i don't like to run up to the day of still working on cakes other people do that and that's completely fine but that's not me my anxiety won't let me do that so that's what my day consists of. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.